hi guys so i just want to quickly discuss something that has been trending on the internet solomon bucci has been dragged on the internet by his beards for the past two days if you guys don't know who solomon bucci is i'm not really sure how to describe him but i'll just say solomon bucci is an internet person he writes you know he makes sense sometimes sometimes well he makes sense anyway sometimes i don't agree with him but he makes sense and people you know like him on the internet so he's an internet person that's the best way i can describe him so solomon bucci is engaged and his fiance is one lady that you know i think she lives abroad or something you know the, i heard she has a first class in maths whether maths and physics or something like that you know pretty girl right she's pretty she's kind of person that uh, all her pictures basically i've been seeing her without makeup on mostly all her pictures she has natural hair she's a bit of a tomboy in her dressing but pretty girl all the same so Solomon Bucci wanted to you know drop some sweet message for her on you know the internet and he went to his page and he posted pictures of both of them let me read the caption to you guys because it's that caption that has set the internet on fire and everybody and anybody is you know talking about it including me well maybe not everybody and anybody i'm sure some of you have not even heard about what's happening but yeah i found the whole thing quite interesting but let me just quickly read out the caption to you guys because to be honest i have not really read this whole caption that's just i'm just being honest right now i haven't read the whole caption each time i try to read it when i just pass the first few lines i'm like cringe the cringe is too much like it's all it's too cringy for me to even read but for you guys let me read it out so you guys will get you know context and i'll be able to dissect it better now okay so the beginning the first line is you're not the most beautiful woman neither are you the most intelligent woman but i've chosen to never find perfection in anyone else i put my gaze on you and with that commitment we would mold ourselves for ourselves our perfection is our commitment i don't think i've even gotten to this stage ever before like <laughs> once i see that set my gaze on you i'm like nah i can't read this and trust me i have tried several times so this is the first time i'm successfully passing that part okay and then he says stating that you are not the most beautiful or intelligent might sound like it's not a compliment yeah but it's a realistic base for real love acknowledging that my woman isn't the best but i am not looking for the best i am looking for you and i found you there's no best there is just someone you choose and see the best in them this to me is the real love not the one that consoles itself in the full reality that their partner is the most good looking most intelligent most successful person in the world that's disingenuous and doesn't give room for love to thrive my love for you isn't about you being the best it's about you being you there's just no other you i love you i am fair i am committed to you i miss you so much but my love for you is stronger than distance okay so what are your thoughts on this you know write-up what are your first impressions on this write-up to be honest my first impression was cringe it sounded totally unnecessary okay it sounded totally unnecessary and i'm sure many people feel the same way like we all know that no there, there is no best basically so you might think you're the finest in the world there's someone finer you might think they're the most intelligent in the world there's someone more intelligent but honestly the way me i see things is this right there's no most beautiful there is only differently beautiful okay so i always say that nobody finds me in this world like <laughs> it's not about what my husband thinks about what i think nobody finds me in this world but there are people that are very very gorgeous and that is because they are beautiful in different ways okay maybe in their tribe maybe in their race you know you cannot go and compare the beauty of a white woman and the beauty of a black woman and say the black woman is more beautiful than the white woman because of what you know they are both differently beautiful they both have different features one person has you know thinner lips you know pointier nose and all of that maybe bigger eyes while the other person has smaller eyes bigger nose fuller lips like me okay <laughs> you know so you can't really say that one person is more beautiful than the other they are just differently beautiful and yeah you are, you are the most beautiful in your eyes she's the most beautiful in her own eyes okay that's why even the concept of miss nigeria miss world miss this uh, i don't really get it but i get that it's a competition that people like to you know engage in personally i could never i could never like you can't crown somebody in my presence and i'll take it no i could never <laughs> anyway i'm debating so for me yeah so so basically we all know that there's no most beautiful but you don't have to say it. not everything that passes from your brain must come to your mouth okay and a lot of people have rightfully been saying that 
this sounds like passive aggressiveness this sounds like not even passive aggressiveness this sounds like backhanded compliment okay where you are trying to give somebody a compliment but in the real sense you are trying to pass a message which is not really positive which is basically like negative message they call it negging as well which is negative feedback or something like that so many people feel like this is not a really positive compliment this is more like a backhanded compliment because why do you want to tell the whole world that she's not the most beautiful in your eyes or she's not the most you know attractive or whatever or the most intelligent and the lady herself is not even a less than average person in terms of looks she's actually quite you know attractive she's actually quite attractive and and from what i heard about her she's very intelligent as well to get a first class in whatever course is not even is not, not talk of you know courses like maths and science and stuff like that to get a first class period is not even easy so she's not a less than smart person either or less than average person when it comes to smartness she's actually quite smart she's actually quite attractive um maybe not the most attractive i mean not to everybody but she's just a normal attractive person you know so it's almost like begs the question like why is he saying this and i'll get into what i think is the reason why he's saying this but a lot of people are asking ah, what was, like what was the reason you didn't have to you could have kept it to yourself you could have just told her oh you love her she's so beautiful she's this you could have just said that you don't even have to say you're not the most beautiful you can just say oh you are so beautiful you don't have to say you're the most beautiful self you can just say oh you are so beautiful you're so intelligent you don't have to be like comparing her to anybody else right you know so um, people are like, what was the reason? It's not like people saw her and were like, ah, how did this kind of girl get to Lubombuchi? Or how did this kind of girl land a guy like that? You know, nobody was thinking that. In fact, if anything, <laughs> I'm sure people are thinking the otherwise because so Lubombuchi himself is not exactly a 10. Okay, I don't want to give him the number that I would give him in my own head, but he's not exactly a 10. He's not exactly a 10, both looks-wise. And again, like I said, I don't even agree with some of the things that he says. So to me, he's not even the most intelligent to me, basically, okay? To me, I'm talking about to me. So, I don't think anybody has ever come out to say, like, there are cases where women come out with their husbands and people are like, ah, how did this guy get this, I mean, how did this girl get this guy? Oh, like, she's so lucky to have him, like, oh, she's, he's way out of her league and stuff like that. This is definitely not the case. So, there was really no reason for him to come out and say, oh, she's not the most beautiful, she's not the most this, but I, I still like her, I still cherish her. It was so unnecessary in my opinion and many people think the same, okay? Now, let me play devil's advocate a little bit. Let me give you guys what I think by playing devil's advocate though what i think might have been the reasons why he said what he said okay now we all know that solomon Bucci is more like a i don't know to call him relationship coach marriage coach because he's not even married but he does a lot of relationship advice and he does a lot of you know marriage advice as well a lot of general life advice as well okay so i think that part of the reason why he wrote that was he was trying to send a message to people not necessarily to her he was trying to send a message to people that you know um love is not about perfection it's not about looking for who is the best in whatever or it's not it's not about oh because you see your partner as the best that's why you are with them it is about choosing to see the best in your partner it's about choosing to spend your life with this person it's about choosing to commit to your person okay you don't have to commit because oh in my i, I don't see any other woman again that is why i'm committed no you can see other women but i choose to be committed to you so i get that that's where I think he might have been coming from in the positive light, okay? If I were to play devil's advocate, that's where he might have been coming from. And you guys know how the internet is. Internet is kind of like a drug. If you're not careful, you're going to say and unsay. There are definitely things I've said on my channel that I just felt like, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Maybe I shouldn't have posted that. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, okay? It is what it is. Yeah, some, to some people it's like, oh, it's, there's nothing wrong in posting that. Why to some people it's like, ah, how could you post that, okay? So, it is what it is. So, for Solomon Bucci to have posted that, I'm sure... In that moment, he felt like it was something nice, it was something good, it was something uplifting, it was something, you know, educative and, you know, inspi inspiring. And that was why he posted it, okay? So, I feel like that was part of his, you know, thoughts, okay? That's his part of his, his um, thinking process or the train of thoughts. Okay, another thing that he might have been thinking was that when he says that, his girlfriend will see it as um you know you have eyes for me no matter what maybe she has insecurities in real life we don't know how we don't know the relationship in real life okay except for what he tells us we don't really know so it's possible that because he's on social media and because clearly she's in love with him she's engaged to him she might be seeing him as that guy that oh all the women love and i think he has a lot of female friends as well so she might be seeing him as that guy that oh all the women love people like him on social media girls want to be with him guys want to be him that kind of guy she might be thinking that though, because not for the rest of the world, we, we, nobody's thinking that. I don't think, 
I don't think anybody sticking to the Mabuchi has so much female attention, you know. But sometimes when you love somebody, you think that the way you love them is the way other people love them as well. So it's possible that she has such insecurities and then him penning that down in his head, maybe it made sense that it would make her know that it's not about who, whether I see the finest girls, whether I go out and meet the finest girls or whether I have the finest girls in my DM, even though I don't think anybody is there in his DM, you know, for anything other than business or, you know, publicity. <laughs> But I don't know why I'm even shading the guy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yeah, maybe that was what he was thinking that she might be thinking that he's getting so much attention from girls and all, all of that. But or maybe there's even a fine girl in his life that we don't even know about. It might be okay. It's not, I mean, anything is possible. So if she could marry him, anything is, if she could want to be with him, anything is possible. So there might be that there might, find, there might be fine girls in his DM, you know, or there's a particular fine girl in his life that his fiance is feeling a little bit threatened by. That is why he's now coming out to say this so I should know that it's not about looks, it's not about intelligence, it's not about the caliber of people I meet. I have chosen to love you, I've chosen to be with you, and I'm forever committed to you, okay? So I'm done playing devil's advocate. Let me tell you what I also think, okay? <laughs> I also think that he is trying to put her in her place okay yeah it might sound a little bit harsh but i feel like subconsciously he thinks that people think that she's out of his league okay subconsciously i'm not saying that it's a conscious thing that he's actively trying to do but subconsciously i'm sure people have dropped comments here and there about how oh she's so pretty she's so good i even saw a comment talking about how he went to go and land a girl that lives abroad and stuff like that you know he, uh, that he's, he's trying to secure his future blah, blah 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 so i feel like maybe somewhere deep down in his heart even if he doesn't admit it he might be feeling like people will be wondering how did he get that kind of girl and she, she might be feeling like she's too much for him maybe because of her first class and all of that maybe because of you know where she lives and who she is i don't really know much about her to be honest but going off of what i've read so far on, on the internet she's like a a good person like good in terms of financially education wise and you know beauty wise okay so you guys i didn't know i was chewing gum so not like i didn't know i knew i was chewing gum but i hope it wasn't looking somehow anyway so he might be feeling like she's aware of this and he wants to subconsciously try to put her in a place and let her know that see you I'm not saying that, you know, you're not good and all that, but you're not the best, okay? You're not the best, like, I'm just choosing to be with you, but there are finer girls out there, there are more intelligent girls out there, don't think that your intelligence is all of that, you know? That is what it sounded like to me, at first glance, at least, that was what it sounded like to me, it just felt like, because he didn't, like, again, we keep saying it, he didn't have to say that, so it sounded to me like, mm, let me try and let this girl know that, yes, I love you and all of that too, but it's not like because you are the best or you are the most beautiful or you are the most intelligent, it's because I am choosing to be committed to you, so, Loki, 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 high key, okay? Loki, 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 but high key, you should be grateful to be with me, because me too, I'm all that plus more, I'm setting my gaze on you, that's just my guess on you. I don't know why that language just gives me a little bit of, you know, brain. I don't know. My brain is doing me. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> anyway, so um, that's what I'm thinking. That's what most people, you know, try to achieve with giving backhanded compliments. People that give such compliments, sometimes they are usually, you know, narcissistic or have such traits. Or, you know, sometimes it's actually given in, in error, as in by mistake, okay? We're all guilty of it. We're all guilty of one time or the other giving backhanded compliments without even thinking, without even knowing that, oh, this is a backhanded compliment. Or realizing after the fact that that was not necessary to say that that was a backhanded compliment, okay? So, we're all guilty of this. So, this might just be one of his, you know slip-ups one of his mistakes it might just be like every other person who makes a mistake there's a guy that has done that thing before on the internet i think it was one twitter influencer or internet person okay where he came and talked about his wife how when they first met when they first met she wasn't the most she wasn't the prettiest she wasn't that fine he wasn't attracted to her when they first met she wasn't really looking good but after after being with him with i mean after so many years he has basically like brushed her up and she now looks really good and pretty um i don't know if you guys remember that story so it's not the first time somebody is making such you know comment on the internet and it's always icky when you hear it but at the same time it's a mistake it's a slip up he might just be teasing her we don't know again how the relationships are i feel like your partner should look like the most like the most handsome person to you or the most beautiful person to you at some point it doesn't mean that you won't acknowledge other people's beauty as well it just means that you are so in love with your partner that you don't really see other people's 
beauty or whatever or even if you see it it doesn't really matter to you because this one because the one you have too is actually all that plus more okay i think that's why people we are feeling some type of way because to be honest that's how it is in relationship when you're in relationship with somebody not even just romantic relationships so is that funny not even just romantic relationships when you have a friend your family members your sisters your brothers your close friends your best friends your children in your eyes they are all that plus extra <laughs> my wife's telling me that to me all my friends are, 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 the, are the prettiest people in the world like all my friends are so attractive like all my friends are so fine that you know that the way i talk about my, all my friends are when he, he looks at them he'll just be like okay <laughs> he doesn't see it but yeah so um if i just want to be balanced in my opinion let me not just be too biased okay i definitely think that it is a mixture of all of them okay that's the most unbiased i can be it's a mixture of all of them he was coming from a good place but maybe he's actually harboring some deep 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 insecurities that actually now made that he's coming from a good place now turned to bad place because that's all i can think you know i think that he wasn't i'm not sure he, I, I mean he's not a dumb person he's actually quite smart so i'm sure he thought that that was a very good move on his part i mean it might be that he wanted to trend again so that one self day okay that one self day once on the internet whether you like it or not you're going to be looking for things to make you trend okay whether good or bad so that one self day but i'm just thinking that maybe he was trying to come from a good place but his deep 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 insecurities and then the fact that he also Again, if you talk too much, you're going to slip up. That's just the truth. If you talk too much, or you type too much, or you post too much, or you, you're going to slip up. It happens to the best of us. It happens to all of us, okay? I've, de I've definitely slipped up several times, and I'm sure many of you might not even see that slip up. But when I remember it, I'm like, I did not have to do that or say that. Like, why did I have to say it and post it? <laughs> you know? So, I think that's a slip up on his part. But again, in conclusion, I definitely think that that was a backhanded compliment, even though he did not intend it to be that. It just came out that way because he definitely has insecurities that are just buried deep down. So maybe he should explore it. Um, for his girlfriend, for his wife, for his fiance, whatever we'll call her, I would say she's good. She doesn't really have to see it as she should see it as a red flag, but not as a deal breaker. Because I don't think Solomon Bucci is a bad person. I definitely see him as someone who actually would love her very well. I see it as that, even despite his insecurities, I see him as someone that would love her very well. I see him as one of those people that will never want to divorce anybody you know that's how i see him i might be wrong it's all just all what i know from the internet but i think i've even talked too much like what the hell man anyway let me know in the comment section what you guys think let me know what you guys think about the situation did you guys follow it oh and that reminds me oh just if just two years back oh, solomon bucci actually dropped a tweet talking about how it is not necessary for you to say such things on the internet what's the need what's the purpose you should have emotional intelligence so dude what happened are you are you regressing are you progressing backwards why are you you know now going back to what you said was not good why are you now doing it now or is it a case of you know you think that you know what you can do in such situations until you get into that situation and then you do the opposite i don't know whatever it is let me know in the comment section let me know your thoughts in the comment section let me go and edit this video and post it so i can go and sleep because i'm feeling very sleepy all right thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys